sold another bulls item. This is a pretty cool one. YouTube, Kurt Curtis, I'm a part-time eBay seller. Take all the profits I make from eBay and invest into dividend stocks. And um, this week, first things first, a few weeks ago, I picked up uh, a couple magic collections and one of them, I found what could have been a very valuable card. I had it inspected. It's not real, it's fake. So it is what it is. I'm just gonna move on, not gonna cry about it. I'll probably um, hang it up on the wall here somewhere in the room so I can remember what it feels like to be salty. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, the good news is though, I had a really good week. I ended up selling 32 items, which for me is really good. Um, yeah, I sold a lot of stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything I sold this week. And then after that, I did actually pick up some, uh, like a box of stuff to sell on consignment. So I'll show you that as well. Sold a video game, got MK3 disc only for PS1. I got this for a dollar, ended up selling for 13 49 all right, finally sold the last of these Ninja Turtle toys. Um, I got seven of these from a yard sale for three bucks a piece. Um, this one sold for $14.99, so not much profit here, but overall on the lot of seven, I made a bunch of money on it. Uh, really good find. Sold one of the few magic cards I've listed, even though I have two collections here I still need to list, but um, this one is extremely beat up and I took a $9.99 offer for this. Sold a PC game. Got this Disney Princess Royal Horse Show. This is new sealed. I got this for 14 cents. Ended up selling for $9.99. All right, sold the second symbol. This Zildjian uh, sound effects Zilbel symbol. I got this for $10, and this thing ended up selling for $68.99. Um, I have sold a drum symbol before. I will pick up small ones if I see them. Um, just because I only ship small stuff, but if you see drum cymbals and they're not cracked or anything, I strongly suggest picking them up. They seem to sell pretty well. Just real quick, obviously, if you're picking up drum cymbals, make sure you look them up because there are a lot of them that are actually worthless, so just throwing that out there. All right, you'll actually see later in this video how I ended up acquiring all this stuff, but um, I sold this lot of four X-Wing miniatures. Um, yeah, I've got TIE Fighter, TIE Striker, TIE Advanced, TIE Defender, and um, this lot ended up selling very quickly for $70. All right, sold a CD. Got this CD right here, Metal Church. This is pre-owned. Uh, this just looked interesting to me at an estate sale. I picked it up for two bucks and ended up selling for $15.99. Sold some more X-Wing stuff. I had one person buy two lots. Um, got this lot right here, which is just two miniatures. Got Phantom 2 and B-Wing. This lot ended up selling for $22.99. And the same person also picked up this lot of four, um, bases and pegs. And this lot sold for $19.99. So, so their total order was $42.98. Sold a DVD. Got this one right here, back something or other. This is an anime DVD. This is pre-owned. I don't even remember where I got this. Uh, ended up selling for $9.49. Sold a t-shirt. Got this vintage um, Chicago Bulls Dynasty um, champion shirt. This is single stitch. I believe I got this for a dollar at a yard sale. And um, it ended up selling for $32.24. So not too bad. Next up, sold this uh, Peter Millar button-up shirt. Um, I got this at a thrift store. I paid up a little bit for it. I got it for $6.47 and it ended up selling for $20.18. All right, getting my hat bin down. I sold the Chicago Bulls 1992 finals hat. I got this for $5 at a yard sale. Ended up selling for $20.24. I think uh, the reason this bull stuff is selling all of a sudden is because that um, documentary just came out, The Last Dance. I haven't seen it yet, but... I have a feeling that's why people are buying this stuff up all of a sudden. Next up, I sold this vintage single stitch Fruit of the Loom black blank pocket tee. I got this for $1.67 at a thrift store, ended up selling for $16.99. And these vintage blank shirts actually do pretty well for me, so I would look out for these. 
sold another bulls item. This is a pretty cool one. It's a vintage starter windbreaker jacket pullover type thing. This is in really good condition. It's really nice. Um, I got this for $7.50 at an estate sale and ended up selling for $44.99. Um, I probably should have kept this for myself, but I didn't. And uh, it's going to be shipped off. And I think the, the buyer is going to be really happy with this. All right, got another vintage clothing item. This one, it's the third one in a row. Got this. My second home is a castle, Trump's Castle Hotel Casino. A vintage single stitch t-shirt. I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $14.99. All right, next order is for two items. I had a multi-quantity listing, and the person bought both of them that I had. These are Armada Maneuver Tools for some Star Wars game. Um, they sold for $9.99 each, so their total was $19.98. However, um, they should have gotten a 5% discount for ordering more than one, so maybe their total was... A little bit less. Uh, anyway, the correct total will be on the screen. Next up, I sold a CD. Got this, I can only imagine, Ultimate Power Anthems of the Christian Faith. This is new sealed. Uh, I believe I got this from an estate sale. Seems like something I would get from an estate sale. I paid a dollar for it, ended up selling for $11.49. Sold a DVD. Got this 411 VM skateboarding DVD. This is pre-owned. I actually got this for free out of a free bin at like a rummage sale or something like that. Ended up selling for $9.99. Sold another Bulls item. Got this vintage Hanes Bulls sweatshirt. Pretty cool. I think I got this at a yard sale for like two bucks. I'm not sure though. Ended up selling for $17.99. Um, typically sweatshirts would weigh over a pound and I'll stick them in a padded flat rate envelope. Most of the time they fit. However, in this case, this one should actually go first class. So that's pretty good. Saved me a couple bucks on shipping. Next up, sold a t-shirt. Got this Kingdom Hearts t-shirt. I got this at a thrift store and I believe I paid like four bucks for it. So I paid way too much for it. Ended up selling for $13.49. So not too much money made here. But um, I don't know, at the time the shirt just looked so cool. I couldn't pass it up. I actually sold two Bibles right in a row. Um, I'll just grab them both since they're both right here. Um, these went to different buyers, but it was just coincidence they were sold right in a row. Got the picture Bible. I got this for a dollar at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $22.49. And this is the children's Bible. I also got this for a dollar at an estate sale. And that ended up selling for $13.49. So not too bad. Sold another book. Got this Stephen King book. Um... 112263. This is actually a first edition hardcover. Um, I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Ended up selling for $22.49. Sold another Bulls item. We got this Kids Youth uh, NBA World Champions 1993 single stitch shirt. I think I got this for like 50 cents at a yard sale. Ended up selling for $14.24. Next up, I sold a puzzle. This is pre owned, like a vintage Power Rangers puzzle. It's only 100 pieces, so I actually put this together. Everything's there. I got this for $2.50 at like a church rummage sale type thing. Ended up selling for $16.49. Sold a video game, Nintendo DS game. This one right here, Lost Magic. Got this for $3.12 at a thrift store. Ended up selling for $12.24. Sold a magic card. Um, this one is Godsend. Ended up selling for $9.99. All right, this is actually the second time I've sold this shirt. It's a vintage Rainbow Casino uh, single stitch t-shirt. I got this for $2 at an estate sale. Um, so it doesn't happen too often, but every once in a while, I'll get the item uh, sent back to me. The address they put, there was something wrong with it. They were unable to deliver. It just says return to sender. All I do is I message the buyer saying that I got the item back, and um, I typically just give them a refund. Occasionally, they try to get me to send it to them again, but I'm not paying for shipping twice. So I just put it up back up for sale. And um, yeah, second time I'm selling this, this time I took a $12 offer. Sold a DVD, got the Watermelon Woman. This is pre-owned. I got this for $2 at a thrift store. Ended up selling for $12.74. Last up for the week, I sold this deck box. This was a personal item of mine that I just don't use anymore. Ended up selling for $9.99. 
All right, so I picked up a huge box of stuff uh, for, from someone for consignment. I mean, this thing is this thing is heavy. It's filled. It's just jam packed full of stuff. But basically, what it contains is just like little items like this. Got these little war machine packets, um, and then what is this guild ball? Little dice and figures and stuff. It's just a whole bunch of random things. We got X wing dice. So a whole bunch of stuff like this. These probably don't have that much value individually, but I can make little lots. I'll have to figure out. Um, what kind of size lots I want to make, but um, yeah, I typically don't like to do consignment. There are a couple people I will do it for, people I trust. So um, in this circumstance, I'm okay with doing it. Um, this will keep me busy for quite a while, and it's basically free inventory. And how I do it is 50/50 split. After fees and shipping, whatever's left over, I keep half. The person keeps half. And um, but yeah, this is this is a lot. Like, look at this thing. There's got to be hundreds of these things, maybe even a thousand. But, um, yeah, so pick that up this week. All right, that's going to be all for this week. Before I go, I just want to let you guys know, if you happen to have vintage Chicago Bulls stuff, like from the 90s, like no matter what it is, I would suggest listing it ASAP because this Last Dance documentary is out and people are buying up this Bulls stuff like crazy right now. And, um, yeah, and my link to my eBay store will be in the video description. Until next time.